Speed Dating by www.cybernoviazgo.com What is speed dating? And is speed dating possible on the internet? Although popular TV shows have portrayed speed dating as a romantic and alluring process, it was first set up to simply allow individuals to meet. Speed dating is only a little over a decade old, but formal events that allow people to meet have a long history. Formal dancing, coming out parties, and various cultural functions allow young men and women to meet in neutral and often chaperoned settings. The point is to allow both persons an opportunity to meet as many people as possible to see if romance occurs. The rationale behind today's speed dating is that love at first sight is possible and that long-term relationships can evolve from these events. In a formal speed dating event, at a restaurant for example, either men or women are seated while the other gender moves from place to place. Dates can be as short as three minutes and typically no longer than ten minutes. When the timekeeper rings a bell or simply announces that the date is over, participants move on to the next date. The participants fill out a contact sheet before the event. This sheet provides contact information such as name, email, and phone number. After the event, each person at the speed dating event has a list of the persons that they met. Contact information is provided to both individuals of the prospective pair if both have chosen the other person from their list. Speed dating events that are sponsored by religious or social organizations are commonly free. Other speed dating events may require payment in order to attend. The obvious advantage of speed dating is meeting a large number of persons who also wish to meet someone. An obvious disadvantage is that someone who looks good in a three-minute chat may not turn out to be the best choice in the long run. These events are usually in a setting where one can hear what the other person has to say, unlike meeting in a bar. It is also a setting where participants need to have something to say if they want the other person to offer their contact information. A comfortable aspect of speed dating is that neither person is compelled to ask, accept, or reject a date at these events. In fact, the rules are typically that asking participants cannot ask for names and numbers during the event. If, however, love at first sight occurs, participants need to wait, sometimes a day or two, to find out if the other person was really interested. In speed dating, the usual cues that people use to approach someone or avoid them, such as appearance, height, age, don't come into play as all participants meet each other. But if you don't like someone at a speed dating event, you are not stuck with them all evening on a double date. There are online speed dating sites. You can do this from your own home, but you may never meet the person. If you do, you may be disappointed if age, height, or personal attractiveness are all that you are looking for. To read more about online dating and relationships, visit www.cybernoviazgo.com.